In other news, Congressman Chaka Fatah says he's talking to his lawyers about his next move. Yesterday, a jury convicted him on every charge in a racketeering trial. Eyewitness News reporter Jan Carabello is live in the CBS3 Sat Center with the congressman's latest legal problems. Jan. Jim, good morning. Former Pennsylvania Governor Ed Rendell is now calling on Congressman Shaka Fatah to resign. He's still a member of Congress after all, and at this point there's no indication he'll step down, meaning it is possible we'll have a convicted sitting member of Congress until Fatah reports to prison. Veteran Pennsylvania Congressman Shaka Fatah, convicted Tuesday in federal court on all charges against him, including racketeering, fraud, and money laundering. It's a, it's a very tough day, but we're going to confer with my lawyers. We'll figure out what our next steps are. The U.S. Representative's racketeering case largely focused on efforts to repay an illegal $1 million campaign loan. Prosecutors successfully argued Fatah used federal grant money and nonprofit funds to do it and used that same money to enrich his family and friends. Four of his co-conspirators were also convicted. We investigate the facts. We follow the facts. We charge as appropriate. The 59-year-old Democrat was first elected to Congress in 1995 and has served on the powerful House Appropriations Committee. But Fatah lost his April primary and bid for re-election. As a convicted felon, Fatah is still a member of Congress, but he can't vote on the House floor. The people deserve a representative in Congress who can vote for them. David Thornburg is with the Committee of 70 in Philadelphia, a nonpartisan political watchdog group. He says unless Fatah steps down or the House votes to expel him, he'll continue to work as a congressman. He can literally show up to work and uh, uh, keep his paycheck. He will probably uh, be stripped of his pension. Uh, because of the conviction. Mayor Jim Kenney was out of town at a convention when the jury came back with Fatah's guilty verdict. He weighed in from Washington, D.C. I think the district there needs a needs a voting member. Um, and, uh, you know, the jury has spoken. Now, Fatah's lawyers say he didn't know about the illegal schemes. If the congressman does resign, Governor Tom Wolf would have to call a special election. Fatah's sentencing hearing is scheduled for October 4th. We're live in the SAT Center. Jan Carabello, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Brooke and Jim, back into you. Thanks so much, Jan.